Fort Leonard Wood was named in honor of Major General Leonard Wood, who won the Medal of Honor for action in the campaign against the Apache Indian chieftain, Geronimo. It sprang up out of the mud of the Mark Twain National Forest in the Missouri Ozarks in only a few short months from December of 1940 through May of 1941. Fort Leonard Wood was mobilized as a training center during World War II. Then in 1946, with the end of the war, the post was closed. It was reopened in 1950, shortly after American troops began fighting in Korea, as a replacement training center for the 6th Armored Division. It wasn't until March of 1956 when the Secretary of Army signed the order that the post was made a permanent installation as a training center for Army engineers. Then in June 1, 1988, the colors of the United States Army Engineer School and Regiment were transferred, making Fort Leonard Wood the new headquarters of engineer training. When the initial entry training soldier arrives at Fort Leonard Wood's reception battalion, they are whisked through their whirlwind reorientation from civilian to soldier. Aptitude testing, a classification interview, an orientation meeting, and the creation of a permanent file are but a few of the segments of their brief stay at the reception battalion. This is the beginning of a soldier. The new soldiers are issued this initial payment to buy all their personal necessities, such as toothpaste and shaving cream. A haircut is one of the major transitions for the new soldier. A new haircut for a new life. A complete physical examination is given to ensure the soldier's complete health. Everything else, more or brought into this room, will go inside this bag. You all understand that? Yes, yes sir. People that need everything, you have one minute to get it in there. The new soldiers are issued all the clothing and equipment they will use during training. A medical evaluation would not be complete without an eye examination. A dental examination is also given to ensure the soldier's best health. Though brief, the soldiers' stay at the reception battalion is full of activity. How do they do it? A 
An unfamiliar face and voice greets the soldiers as they prepare to go to their assigned companies. This is the drill sergeant, the face and voice that will become the guiding influence over these hectic, grueling weeks of basic training. Drill and ceremony practice teaches the soldiers to work as a unit. The hours spent learning individual, squad, platoon, and company drills are the foundation for the precise discipline and obedience that develops alertness and teamwork. It's like you marching back. Four steps. And they lock up. Good for you. Sergeant, yes, Sergeant. Let's get back. Endurance is the key resource for the soldier. Therefore, physical fitness is a must. The physical training program of the United States Army is a master fitness concept designed to develop strength, endurance, agility, and coordination. The result? Strength for a time which demands strength. On or off the PT field, a soldier's physical fitness is being honed to a razor's edge. On the PT field, you can hear the familiar sounds of repetitions being counted and echoes of soldiers sounding off with more PT, Sergeant, more PT. Drill and ceremony is not just an exercise in obedience and alertness. It is also an excellent exercise in weapon control and weapon maintenance. The time spent in drill practice helps to further familiarize the soldier with his rifle. When you pull it back, you leave it back, leave your hand in the same position. Do not take your hand and do it John Wayne mode. Position of attention. Let's assume a new position of inspection R. Ready? Over. Although the phrase dining facility is relatively new, the purpose is not. At peak performance, the dining facility is capable of serving up to 250 soldiers in 15 minutes in a company-sized facility and 1,250 soldiers in 45 minutes in a battalion consolidated facility. It is still, however, reminiscent of the days when it was called the mess hall. One of the first phases of training the new soldier is first aid. There are many important applications of emergency medical care that the soldier learns, such as shock treatment, CPR, and open wound treatment, to name just a few. First aid training is a skill which can carry over to the soldier's civilian life as well. Communications, the life link of any operation. During communications training, the soldier learns the proper use of radios and telephones in current use. They also learn proper transmission procedures, as well as maintenance of the equipment.
Map reading teaches the soldier basic principles in reading maps. The course covers grid coordinates, distance, terrain recognition, and the general knowledge needed for successful navigation. Look at the point of the arrow where it's inside the grid quarters. You can also see I-44. You can see I-44. Slide the straight edge piece of paper until the V comes under the whole number. Stop right there. Then add up the distances. What you got? Let me see this right here. 3,000. You got that, right? 100, 200, 300. The compass is one of the most useful tools in teaching the soldier successful terrain navigation. Now, what we're going to do at this time, I want you to take that free hand. Take the free hand, place it. Take that thumb, place it behind the IP to verify that your line is open. <coughs> Hours are spent in practical application of the compass. Okay, now, whatever that starting wire is located on, whatever that starting wire is going to match on, all you got to do is look down. Yes, sir. You're aiming at that sign. Looking through this little window, locating your black index line, and if whatever that red number is, as you read it, that's your answer. Yes, sir. The rifle becomes the soldier's tool in a profession of arms, and like any other profession, the use and knowledge of the tool must be second nature. The soldier must learn about his weapon from the inside out. It's all together. Won't carry your group. Won't carry your group. I'll stand. He paid attention. Any questions? Disassembly, cleaning another weapon, and part nomenclature. Before the soldier is allowed to actually fire his weapon, a thorough knowledge of the proper handling and firing techniques of the M16 must be learned. The weaponeer gives a computerized reading of the soldier's firing. Basic rifle marksmanship begins on the 25 meter range, where the soldier is taught how to sight and aim his weapon. Okay, so y'all, I want to get this round back down here. Last time you shot one over here, one over here, and one up there, okay? I want you to shoot right here. You can do it, okay? One more time, okay? Try it again. Okay, you got it. Okay, now you got it. Now you got it. Now you got it. He is taught how to judge his performance. After the 25 meter range, he is ready for more advanced rifle training. The soldier has gone over the fundamentals of rifle firing. In field firing, the soldier encounters more complicated conditions. He learns different firing positions and how to allow for variations in terrain and distance. After many hours of training and reinforcement, the soldier is ranked according to the number of targets scored as hits. He is designated a sharpshooter, marksman, or expert. Nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare, the battlefield of the future. In the face of uncertainty, preparedness is essential. The Army prepares a soldier with the necessary training in defense against nuclear, biological, and chemical agents.
How is the NBC attack recognized? How do you protect yourself? What first aid measures can be taken? The soldiers learn the questions and the answers. You all were looking kind of bad on that. A lot of you all were looking kind of bad on that. Sit down, you, pay it. Then each soldier gets a small foretaste of the results. Quickly, quickly, The physical endurance course helps develop coordination, strength, and boldness, as well as confidence in handling various difficult obstacles. Though demanding both physically and mentally, the confidence course is a great team and spirit builder. Teamwork helps to build units that operate together with a sense of spirit and pride in their accomplishments. There are many instances that there is no time to go back to the company area just to eat. Therefore, the food is brought out to the field. After a hard day of training, a hot, nourishing meal is very welcome. Got that spare tire that we have to take care of. No, you don't get too far. Thank you. Did they get rid of all the tires? No. No. I can't trip. Individual Tactical Training, or ITT for short. It teaches the soldier how to survive in a combat situation. He is first taught the art of camouflage for ultimate concealment while under fire. Hey, you're the end. We're out here preparing for this. The soldier is taught how to negotiate all kinds of terrain as cover and concealment. He's instructed on battlefield survival by means of many hours of actual field training 
under simulated combat conditions. During his military career, the soldier is called upon to fire many different weapons, such as the Claymore mine, and then the M203 grenade launcher, which is used in conjunction with the M16 rifle. Right on the money. The AT-4 is the Army's newest weapon. It is an anti-tank assault weapon which fires a self-propelled rocket. But before he fires any of these weapons, the soldier is given careful instructions and practical demonstrations on each weapon's capabilities. Like this, everybody got that. Yes, That's the only way you'll hold it if you're right-handed. Do left-handed, man. This is the only way you'll hold the hand grenades. Everybody got that. Yes, yes sir. All right. We're gonna use these first three bunkers, man. I want three equal ranks behind them bunkers. Move out. Proper handling and throwing techniques are a big part of the hand grenade course. Throw your grenade. Yeah. Come on, got some a little hotter than what we're throwing here. The soldier is taught how to handle the grenade under all kinds of conditions and obstacles. Widespread destruction that can be held in the palm of your hand. The soldier is taught every aspect of this little ball of destruction that is activated by the pulling of a little pin. Hold that grenade body four to six inches behind the steel pipe. Four to six inches, man. Four to six inches behind the steel pipe. All right, looking good. Right back in the way. And throw your grenade. Get out, man. Simulate moving secondary safety. Pull primary full range. Stand up into a good throwing position. Four to six inches behind your steel pipe. All right, look here. You've already pulled that pin. Don't roll that grenade in your hand. Keep a good, tight grip. Rock back of the waist. Pull your grenade. Good, looking good. Remember, man. The bayonet course is one more aspect of the soldier's training with his M16 rifle. The soldier is taught how to fix and unfix the bayonet on the barrel of his rifle. He is then taught all the offensive and defensive moves he needs to defend himself from an attacking enemy in close arms combat. After practicing these offensive and defensive moves, the soldier is given hands-on experience with the bayonet course practice equipment. Attack position, move! Thrust series, move! Thrust left and a thrust. When the soldier has become familiarized with this new weapon and its applications, he is taught how to negotiate and utilize all kinds of terrain while under fire on the assault course.
This course utilizes many of the skills and training that the soldier has already encountered. Like the other courses, it helps to further hone the soldier's confidence and boldness while reinforcing the soldier's ability to apply the basic skills and principles taught by the drill sergeant. The road march is something the soldier dreads from the start, is glad when it's over, and might write home about, but definitely would not like to do it again. But the nightmare does not go away the next day. Sore legs and blisters are but a few of the legacies left behind. The road march is a test of endurance and perseverance, which tests the soldier's training by experience. It also teaches a final lesson to respect and cherish the soldier's most valued piece of equipment, the feet. Army life is not all work. The troops are given opportunities to attend the brigade chapel or to go to the theater. The PX is always available for supplies. The gym is there for the sports-minded soldier. The Davis Recreation Center is a place the soldier can unwind with games and relaxing activities. Fort Leonard Wood is the home of the U.S. Army Engineer Museum. The Army Engineer tradition has spanned many decades of honored service with a proud sense of duty. And there is always bowling. The soldier's free time from training is spent in large part, though, catching up with little chores, such as laundry, personal review of their training techniques, and general orders. Cleanup is a major task that must be kept up to be ready in case of an inspection. Room attention! Hit it. <laughs> Probably what? What's the maximum effective range of the M16? 460 meters, Sergeant. Inspections are thorough and relentless. Cleanliness and order are the keys to a successful inspection and preparedness for combat. What is the rank insignia of a gold oak leaf? Sergeant, the rank insignia of a gold leaf is a major. Good. Is your wall up behind you? Yes, sir. Inspections teach the soldier the proper maintenance and organization of their combat and personal equipment. Top row of your equipment display? Yes, Sergeant. You sure? Yes, Sergeant. All right. Make sure everything's online and everything else, everything's all lined up. Yes, Sergeant. How many fingers do you got between each of these? Three, Sergeant. So it's evenly spaced all the way across? Yes, Sergeant. The engineer soldiers are given more individual instruction when they reach the actual engineering phase of the training on how to assemble and disassemble portable emergency bridges.
Panel Bridge is reminiscent of the old Bailey Bridge, used to navigate small rivers and other non-negotiable obstacles. Other bridges, such as the Floating Bridge, are used for large rivers, such as the Rhine, where actual training and use of floating bridges is implemented. Soldiers are also taught how to utilize the knots and hitches used on the cables for the three cable bridges. Pugil sticks is a reinforcement of the principles learned in bayonet and other close arms combat training. The soldiers not only pit themselves against an opponent, but against their own tenacity, confidence, and physical stamina. In phase three reinforcement, the soldiers hone their skills that they have learned during their training, practicing them over and over again until they become second nature. This is where the rough edges are polished in preparation for the end of cycle test. Yes, Sergeant. In position! Look. Unzip it. Loosen up the strap. Draw a cord. Once you've got all the straps loosened, it's unzipped. Your helmet's off. Then I want you to take your gloves. Quick, quick, quick. On the cheek strap. Take the mask off. I want that mask stored. <laughs> no, I said put the black strap down and get it a little bit. Now, once you ready to stand up, I'm telling that radar over there at EOCC that you're ready to be checked. Look it down behind your mind. The end of cycle test is a performance oriented evaluation of all the training the soldier has completed during basic training. Graduation Day, the first milestone in the soldier's army career. A day of pride in the knowledge that a formidable accomplishment has been undertaken and achieved. Family and friends are cordially invited to share this special day honoring their loved ones. honors those soldiers who have distinguished themselves with exceptional performances. The company's graduating pass and review where family and friends can see the pride and confidence they display.
the time to relax and enjoy the congratulations of family and friends. For family and friends, it's a day of celebration and reunion. It is also a day of discovery. For the young man that said goodbye is now a confident soldier, ready to go on to the next phase of his army career. Keep your eyes open and breathe. I want everyone to look up here at this window. 
This one look to your right. Keep your eyes open, Privates. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Now what I want you to do, Privates, I want you to carefully back up against the wall. Stop dancing there, there's no dancing allowed. Get your back against the wall. Get your hands away from your face, open up your eyes and breathe. What I want you to do now, Privates, I want you to turn to your right. On, your, on the command of go, Privates, on the command of go, you're going to walk calmly to the back door. Do you understand? Do you understand? Go. Let that private go, number two. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Keep your eyes open and breathe. I want everyone to look this way. Look this way with your eyes open, privates. All right, what I want you to do now, I want you to carefully back up against the wall. Keep your backs on the wall. Number two, open up your eyes and look this way. All right, privates, what I want you to do now, I want you to turn to your right. Without pushing or running, you're going to walk calmly out the back door on the command of go. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Go. Sit them in, door guard. Down at the end, the second man, you better open up those eyes and look this way. There we go. Keep those eyes open and breathe. Keep, number one, open up those eyes. Open those eyes up. Keep those eyes open and breathe. What I want you to do now is carefully back up against the wall. Place your backs on the wall. Keep your eyes open and look this way. When I see everyone looking this way, all right, what I want you to do now is turn to your right. And we're going to walk calmly to the back door without pushing or running. Do you understand? Send them in, door guard. Number two, you better stop running around and pick up that protective mask off the floor. Stop jumping around, get that t shirt from your nose, and do not touch your eyes, private. Now listen up. What you're going to do to get out of here, Brian, get that t-shirt away from your nose. Turn and look this way. I want everyone to look this way so I can see your eyes. Until everyone look this way, you're not going nowhere. I don't see that private down there, number six. Look, yeah, I'm talking to you. What I want you to do now, private, is I want you to carefully back up against the wall. Carefully back up against the wall. Open up your eyes and look this way. Now what I want you to do, private, I want you to turn to your right. Listen up, Price. Without pushing or running, you're going to walk calmly to the back door. Do you understand? I couldn't hear you. Go. Do not touch your face area. Keep your eyes open and breathe and look this way. I want everyone to look this way. All right, Price. What I want you to do now, I want you to carefully back up against the wall. Keep your eyes open and look this way. Get your backs against the wall. Your back against the wall. All right, Private, Pick, get that protective mask up, Private. Get the protective mask up. Now turn to your right. Now without pushing or running, you're going to walk calmly out this chamber. Do you understand? Go. If I was you, Private, I wouldn't be rubbing my eyes. Now I want your backs against the wall. Your back. That's all of your back. I want everyone to look this way and keep your eyes open. Open up your eyes. And look this way. Do not touch your face, Private. Get your hand away from your eyes, Private. Turn to your right. I didn't say go nowhere. Now we're going to walk calmly to the back door without pushing or running. Do you understand? Do you understand? Go. Send a man door guard. Stop and breathe. Keep your eyes open and breathe. I want everyone to look this way. Everyone look to your right. Look to your right. Look to your right. I didn't say turn to your right. I said look to your right. Open up your eyes. Carefully place your backs against the wall. Carefully place your back. Where you going, Private? Get up against the wall. Where you going, Private? Get up against the wall. Get up against the wall, Private. Get that Private in here. Get up against the wall, Private. Everyone else turn to your right. And walk calmly out the back door. Now, Private, where you running to? Get your protective mask up, right? Good job, squad leader. Good job. Put your arms down, down there. Put your arms down. Down. All the way down, right? Open up those eyes and look this way. Look to your right. You see a big window. Look this way. All right, carefully put your backs against the wall. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Keep your eyes open down there, right? I want to see everyone's eyes. All right, what I want you to do now, I want you to turn to your right. Now listen up. You're going to walk calmly to the back door without pushing and running. Do you understand? I can't hear you. Go. Keep your eyes open and breathe. 
Keep your eyes on the breeze, put your arms down. Put your arms down. I want everyone to look to your right at a 45 degree angle and let me see your eyes. All right, right. Carefully back against the wall. Back against the wall, number one. Turn to your right. Turn to your right. And go walk calmly to the back door on the command of go. Do you understand? Get the mask up off that ground, Brian. Pick and protect the mask up and open up your eyes. Where are you going, Private? You can't go out of here yet. You got to come back. All right, Private. Turn to your right. And put your arms down. Down. Put your arms down. And walk calmly out the back door without pushing or running. Go. Mask off your head down there, Private. Stand up straight. Stand up, right? Open up your eyes and look this way. I don't see everyone's eyes, so I guess we're not in a hurry to get out of here. Carefully back up against the wall. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Keep your eyes open and breathe. Put your arms down. Breathe, Sassine, breathe. Without pushing or running, on the command of go, you're going to walk calmly off. Now you're doing the Jane Brown. All right, the rest of you that paid attention, take your protective mask off. Open up your eyes and breathe. Let's go. Open your eyes. Keep walking. Let's go.
challenge was given to an unsure, timid young man. The challenge that is the United States Army. He met the challenge and stepped into the history of the competent professional, dedicated to the preservation of the spirit and freedom of duty that has been the framework of the American soldier. It has been this spirit that has made the United States a country of respect, honor, and pride. We owe a lot to this heritage and the undotted courage that has forged this great nation. Through this history of service and duty, our country has been given the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.